Hey guys, Ryan Whiting here with another video response. Um, I was asked, actually quite a while ago now, I'm just getting to the questions now, um, what techniques I use for visualization when I'm injured. Um, and, I don't know, it's kind of a, uh, I guess, individualized question. Um, it's hard to answer, but I'll do my best. Um, what I do, in general, um, I can speak from experience because I had a, I had a surgery after the Shanghai meet in May last year. Uh, it wasn't a like structural injury. I had a, a cyst on my lower back removed, but it still kept me out for, I don't know, six weeks. And as everyone who has been injured knows, uh, injuries are extremely frustrating. And um, to get better, a lot of times you need to focus on mental things. Um, so for me, uh, what I learned in college, my first major injury was um, in 2008, immediately after I set the indoor collegiate record. Um, so I went from a really high to a really low. I hurt my ankle. Um, and what I learned from that is that you really need to um, understand and believe that you will get back to normal as long as it's not anything career ending, um, and it'll just take time. You need to, um, I don't know, pick, pick what you feel is your perfect throw for that, for, I don't know, this moment in time. And you just need to run it through your head a lot. And that's, that's really all I do. I don't, I don't do anything special. I just, I don't know, pick, pick certain technical cues or a day I felt really good. Um, and I try to replicate that feeling in my head. And I, you, you, you try to build up that, uh, I don't know, meat feel in your body. Like the, the feeling you get going into a big meat, that like nervous energy. You kind of get butterflies in your stomach. And um, I don't know, a good, a good throw in your head should feel, I don't know, you should get your whole body into it. Just not moving or anything, just you should feel a little bit nervous and you should try to put yourself in the moment as much as you possibly can. Um, this past summer, uh, I was coming off that indoor world championship and uh, my goal was pretty high for the outdoor season and to get hurt was extremely frustrating. Uh, and for me as a professional, it, it, there's even a little bit more pressure because uh, now my income comes from this and um, it was even harder to be patient for me. Uh, just just knowing after that 2205 and 2223 in, indoor that I had more in the tank and then to have this just freak cyst, um, it, was, it was hard. Uh, and... I really just tried to focus on other things uh, while I couldn't work out, and then um, just like I said, I just I just ran through what I thought was the perfect throw in my head a lot of times. And when I was finally able to throw again, I was I was hungry to throw, and I felt mentally ready to throw. Uh, my body wasn't quite there, um, but I think on my first day back doing full throws. After five weeks off, I threw, I don't know, 20, 30 or something in practice, which I was, I was pretty happy with. Um, I mean, it was nowhere near the 22 meters that I, I had before that, but really um, just being back competing was, I don't know, a huge step forward. Uh, there have been times for me that 21 meters has felt really easy at, like, earlier in the year last year and all through 2013 um, and then there have been times that 20, 21 meters was a huge victory and, and one of those times was at Berlin um, towards the end of last year uh, I finally felt like I was I was back at a level that I could be I could be kind of proud of I got I got back um, yeah, my whole goal outdoor last year was just to, 
I don't know, get back to a respectable level. And I, I thought I would throw more like 2150, but um, by the time it came down to it, I was I was really happy with uh, whatever it was, 21, 21 something, 21 low in Berlin. Um, yeah, another big thing for injuries and visualization is just having a goal. And it can be something you've done before, like uh, just getting back to somewhere you've been before. Or a really long-term goal. Um, and you can just focus on that and try to picture in your mind what it will take for your body to do. Uh, I, I guess what it takes to get to that distance. Um, well, uh, I don't know. Injuries are hard. And I hope this was less confusing than it felt like when I was talking. Um, but... If you guys have any specific questions, um, feel free to ask, and I can try to elaborate a little more. Um, tough question. I hope this helps a little bit. Um, you will get better. So, all right. Thanks, guys.